Yo, check this out. This could be the biggest trade of the season. Car Anthony Towns for Jordan Poole of the Golden State Warriors. This could be Car Anthony Towns last year in a Timberwolf jersey. Yo, would you do that trade? Would you actually trade Jordan Poole for Car Anthony Towns? Man, we're going to see just a couple of clips, man. You see, you know Cat. You know what Cat does. It's stretch five. The big, the biggest and best stretch five in the league can knock it down with the best of them. And do, but to give him, uh, to, to trade him for Jordan Poole, man, someone that's got the youth, someone that got a good spirit, someone that can pull up from anywhere. There's never been a shot that he didn't like. He can also fill the lane and really, you know, make that thing happen. He'll dunk on you. He can lay it up. He just ain't scared. He ain't scared to go and, and put his body out there, man. I'm not sure if Golden State want to get rid of their youth movement, but man, if you can win a championship right here, right now with Kanye Town, would you do it? All right, guys, let's get into it. NBA 2K all day. Let's go. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, D-Strick. NBA 2K all day. You know what it is. Man, can y'all believe this? Like this rumor right here? Can y'all really, really believe this? Like, Wow. <laughs> NBA rumor, Golden State Warriors could acquire Car Anthony Towns for five players and two picks. Like, is Car Anthony Towns really worth five players and two picks? Golden State Warriors look like contenders once again. There's no question that they're a good team currently with the being said. Even contenders make mid-season trades to improve. A player that Golden State Warriors could potentially target is in the trade market is Carl Anthony Town. Our trade scenario features the Golden State Warriors sending out a trade package headlined by Jordan Poole and James Wiseman to get an all NBA big man. All right. <laughs> Everybody know on this page, you know, I'm I'm Golden State Warriors to the end. You know what I'm saying? Through and through. Man, do you make this trade? All right. Golden State Warriors getting Carl Anthony Towns and uh, giving up Jordan Poole, who's been phenomenal this year. I mean, Jordan Poole is probably a great contender for uh, most improved player. James Wiseman, which is an untapped um, potential. You don't know, you know, by giving up James Wiseman, you don't know who you really giving up. Like, for real, for real, that could really work out bad. That might not age really well for the Warriors. Uh, Jonathan Kaminga, uh, Moses Moody, I'm, I'm good with them going. Uh, Kevon Looney, oh, man, you know, just by him being a staple uh, within the Warriors, I mean, the Warriors um, uh, team for such a long time. He's a constant uh, person that's always there, um, does all of the dirty work. Um, I'm more leaning to say that he would do more of dirty work than even Carl, Carl Anthony Towns. And then um, go to say Warriors are giving up a uh, 2022 first round pick as well as a 2022 second round pick. Now, without looking at the um, the contracts and seeing just how long uh, Carl, uh, Carl got on his on his contract, do would they have him for two years? Would they have him for three years? Or just a one year deal? I don't know that. But put down in the comment section. What do y'all think? Y'all think this would be a good deal? I mean, Jordan Poole. Man, Jordan Poole is lighting them up. He a hit from anywhere. Now check this out. If you are the uh, if you are Minnesota, you insert Jordan Poole over there with uh, D'Angelo Russell and Ant Man. Then you got some serious, serious youth going on over there, and you can build around those three players. Man, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. All right, it says uh, the words could create a um, super team. The Golden State Warriors could massively improve their odds of winning the championship by trading for Carlton Town while being able to retain uh, Draymond Green, Anthony Wiggins. Man, so that right there is really like would be a game changer. Um, uh, Andrew Wiggins and Carlton Towns teaming up again, especially after you know Wiggs dunked on them this year. They probably won't talk about that much in the, <laughs> in, in the practice. But man, could you imagine? Another a, a big man that can space the floor even more. Like if they get Carrington Towns, they got four out of the five starting uh, people in the starting lineup can go out there and hit the three ball. That's crazy. And then if they want to dump it down on the inside to, to Cat, they can do that. You also got Wiggins that 
Um, definitely got a mid-range game, mid range game that is second to none. And, you know, he's getting better and better in his Warrior offense. So, man, that's crazy. So they still roll out a ridiculous starting lineup while still having some decent veterans on the bench. Uh, Otto Porter Jr., Gary Payton. Then you still got uh, Belly coming off the bench, uh, which are cool. I'm, I'm just not – I'm not really – I, I'm a Warriors fan. I'm not really feeling uh, Kevon Looney um, leaving. Man, I would hate to see that. But if you got somebody like Cat and they saying they want Kevon, I mean, it's kind of like a no-brainer, right? Um, so the trade package, as I guess stated, um, was sent out. Uh, the Warriors were selling three young players that need playing time in Wiseman, Kaminga, and Moody. Really, I'm not for sure why they even kept uh, Kaminga and Moody. I thought they would have moved them by now. Neither of these players in the rotation currently sending them out for a top tier stars could be a move to guarantee another championship for the Warriors. Losing Jordan Poole would hurt. Yes, it would. But it could be worth it to get a top tier center. And Clay Thompson would be able to uh, be in a starting lineup. Uh, started shooting guard upon his return. Kevon Looney would be a salary filler contract in this trade. Compton Towns would fit perfectly in the Warriors system as he is the best stretch five in the league. We also give the team some size, allowing them to play better against elite big men in the West Coast like uh, Jokic, Anthony Davis. That is true. Uh, Compton Towns um, and could be a good opportunity for him to join a winning team, participate in the playoffs, something he's only done once in um, his career. Uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves acquired some intriguing prospects. Of course, you got Jordan Poole, um, 18.2 points a game, 3.2 rebound, 3.4 assists. You know, uh, Jordan ain't never seen a shot that he didn't like. And, uh, man, this is this is really crazy. So let me know, Warriors fans, would you do this? Would you would you make this trade? Like, by for, before the trade deadline, is this something that you're going to do uh, if you're a uh, – if you are a Minnesota Timberwolves fan, is this something that you do? Do you get Cat out of there? Do you rebuild? Do you start a youth movement um, surrounding uh, Ant-Man and, and D'Angelo? Put your um, comments down below in the comment section. I'm going to be going over some more trade scenarios just like this as we get closer and closer to the trade deadline. And listen, if you like this um, video, if you like the content that we're putting on here, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. And, uh, man, let's blow it up. It's your boy, D-Street, NBA 2K all day. Let's go.